Hello and welcome. It is the 22nd annual Garden State Film Festival. This year there will be 200 films from over 14 countries screening the weekend of March 21st to the 24th of this year. I'm your host Emily DeSimone and I'm here with director, writer, producer Lee Raphael Kopel of the short The Apps. Lee, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great day and I would love to hear about what inspired you to write The Apps. Thank, thank you, Emily. Um, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, it's actually like what inspired me to write the apps was I was um, working a job in the advertising industry and I had been like writing short scripts just as a creative outlet on the side. And um, I was kind of like feeling stuck in life. And um, I think that's kind of what the film was about to me. It was about feeling stuck and not being able to move past something. I, um, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make something and how to actually take a script from script to screen. And it was like a lot of reading and watching YouTube videos and like talking to people who had like ever made something. But it was and really inspired was that, by me. Yeah, what was that like for you? Like, what would you say was the biggest challenge you faced taking this script and putting it to screen? I I think the biggest challenge was just getting started, honestly. Like, it, it was really scary. I must have written, like, 10, 15 scripts before I decided to make something. Um, it was just, like, spending, like, late nights after work, after, like, you know, being doing my job, I would come home, write, and like, I think I faced like, oh, like this is too many locations or too many characters, or like this would cost too much to make and like I needed to self-finance. Um, so just getting actually started and committing to one script, mm -hmm. that was the hardest part for me because I, um, I knew that it was gonna be a long, expensive process but it was really fun and I'm really glad this is the one I chose to start with. Well, clearly this was a great one to start with because you were accepted into the Garden State Film Festival. I would love to know how it is you found us. Um, I had a friend who I think had a film show at, a fe at the festival a few years ago. Um, she was kind of like a big part of like helping me get started she i you know friend is like i'm we knew each other a long time ago and we kind of reconnected and she gave me some advice and connected me to some people and that was also really hard trying to find a cast and crew when you don't know anyone in the industry is like really daunting you kind of like are thrown into this yeah and how did you find your cast and crew um i found both uh, Colin and Drew, who are the actors, on backstage. Nice. And yeah, that was a fun, that was a really fun process. Uh, the casting process was a great time. I had so many amazing, talented actors come out for the casting call. And actually, a lot of the people who auditioned ended up getting cast in my new movie, Call Failed, um, Colin makes an appearance in it, and um, a few people who came out for both the roles are actually in it, and they didn't audition. I just remembered them from their auditions, mm -hmm. and I texted them. I was like, hey, you know, like, I know it didn't work out, but I have something I think you'll be really good for. Can I send you the script? Um, I think you'll like it. So it was really fun to get to work with some people who I um, had like previous experience with. I mean, I think that that's something that a lot of people do do in the industry. You'll see a lot of the same actors in movies and whatnot, like bring like small actors with them, like or smaller roles, I should say, like with them. There are no small roles, but you know, and it's, I think it's the relationships that you make with these people that make for a great project. So, you know, when it comes to like, these people and this challenge that you overcame, you would say that your favorite part of this process was like meeting these new people. And I guess now perhaps the inspiration for this new work, what, what are your future plans with this new work? Um, 
the new work has wrapped up and it's um, all done. I am, you know, waiting on the festival circuit, like finding, trying to find the right premiere for it. I'm very excited to share it with the world. Um, I got to work with a really close friend of mine who plays the lead actress. Um, she, she killed it in my opinion. Um, you know, but who knows? Um, that's for other people to tell me too. Um, I was really happy to work with her. She, um, she had like, we met randomly, you know, we met rock climbing and didn't know that we worked in the same industry. And eventually we like, found out and we were, I was like, hey, I have this project I think you'd be really good for. Um, so tell me, this was your first time directing and writing and producing, is that correct? Yeah. So yeah. what is it that got you into it? You know, I mean, this with this being your first time, like what, what inspired you to jump in and make your own work and submit to the Garden yeah. State Film Festival? So I, I mentioned I was um, I was working as a copywriter at an advertising agency um, when the pandemic hit. I was writing commercial scripts. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I wrote the script for a commercial, um, or was part of a team that wrote a commercial for Oreo, and we were producing virtually because the pandemic hit and you know the world was shut down but i got to watch our director direct and direct the casting direct the commercial be on set and i was like damn that looks like a fun job that looks like a really fun job and i was That's like awesome in. i kept in touch with him and um he's been a huge help to me and like hugely encouraging in this pursuit and and it was kind of just like, I've always loved movies. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go for this. So do you have a specific style that you enjoy when you're watching other movies, like other directors that you really enjoy that you think help inspire, like the style of how you made the apps? I don't think I have like a specific style of what I like. I, I really love like naturalistic movies. I, I love Noah Birnbach. But I also love Quentin Tarantino, so like like very stylistic movies. I think in my movies, the one thing I really enjoy is creating a form of like human connection. Uh, that's always what's fascinated me is like how people relate to each other and themselves. And you know that feeling when you walk out of something and you're like, I don't have that problem but I relate, it's like that, that's human. Like, that's what I like to do. And it seems like you're wearing quite a few hats now because directing and writing and producing. So you have a bit of a background in writing, copywriting, you were saying. So you're talking about how, you know, you found like these actors so you can direct and whatnot, but what was it like for you to, instead of just handing over your work, like you, you talked to me a bit about like the cast and like how you've made these connections, but what was it like for you really to put that on screen? Like what's it I, like to see it now? Oh man, it's so fun. Um, I think I've always liked creating. I've, I like being hands-on and that's kind of why I went into advertising because like, I love the process of creation. I love being collaborative and working with other people hearing their opinions and like trying to work together to make something we both like. Mm -hmm. And I think directing took that to the next level because that's directing is like so collaborative. You're working with so many people, um, like every department, the actors post, um, and it kind of just lets you be creating something new at every step. And I loved it. I'm so happy with it. Well, Lee, I'm so excited to see the apps and everyone 
you can see the short, the apps at the Jersey Shore Art Center on Saturday, March 23rd during the 2.30 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. block. Lee, I hope to see you at the Garden State Film Festival this year where there are 200 films screening across eight venues, including hosting parties, panels, events, and more. Guys, get your tickets at gsff.org slash tickets. I'm your host, Emily DeSimone, and Lee, thank you again so much for joining me today. I cannot wait to see you and your film at the festival. Thank you, Emily. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, Bye.